Hi, I'm Lars Hoffman. I'm here at ICANN 54. We're wrapping up and uh, I'm meeting Stefania Milan uh, from the Non-Commercial Stakeholder Group. Welcome, Stefania. Hi, Lars. Um, Stefania, you've just been elected to GNSO Council. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what the NCSCG does and who it represents? Yeah, so I'm a representative of uh, the NCSG, which is the Non-Commercial Stakeholder Group on the GNSO Council. The Non-Commercial Stakeholder Group is composed by two constituencies. One is the NCSC, the Non-Commercial User Constituency, and the other is the NPOC, the Non-Profit Organizational Concern Constituency. Um, they might seem similar, and to some extent we do share a lot uh, of concerns, but we represent slightly different uh, social groups, if you want, in that NCUC is open to both organizations, like for example NGOs, and the individuals, whereas the MPOC represents only organizations. Spe more specifically, the MPOC represents the uh, interest of um, organizations that might want to have registered domain name, Whereas uh, NCUC, that I, um, that's, let's say, my first family uh, in the NCSG, um, has a slightly broader agenda in that we care uh, also about a number of other issues. I can tell you what the issues are. Uh, broadly speaking, we we'll look, for example, at privacy. What are the implications of names and numbers for individuals and groups' uh, privacy? Then we, look, we care about development, human rights, but also the diversity and consumer choice. Okay, very good, thank you. And um, you talk about individuals who are engaged with the NCUC and the NCSG as well. Um, how, do they, how can they get in best involved with ICANN and the GNSO? Oh, it's actually quite easy. As we all know, ICANN is pretty open, everything is recorded, and it can also be followed uh, remotely. So uh, the best way to get involved is to you know, jump in a working group, for example. There's plenty. There's always shortage of individuals, especially um, from the, the non-commercial side, because uh, we usually have also other daily jobs. And uh, so we're always happy to welcome other volunteers to help us to fight for the issues that I just described. Um, it's not um, easy at the beginning, let's say, because indeed uh, the, the issues are relatively complex, especially for a newcomer. There's plenty of help, both from the ICANN staff and from other individual organizational members to get you by if you just want to dive into ICANN. And is that how you joined too? Did you, did you just jump in or did you have a slightly different path to, to get involved? I actually was, was jumped in, <laughs> in that, um, well, I used to uh, work for um, a government at some point and I came to ICANN actually through GAC, although it only lasted for a meeting. But in this meeting, I uh, met some NCUC members, and that sort of prompted me to uh, get involved. And as the first move, they proposed to nominate me for um, one of the positions in the executive committee of NCUC, which is some actually something that I recommend because it gives you a role and gives you some tasks, which are, however, mostly administrative, and the possibility of uh, being forced to learn, let's say. So during your uh, forthcoming term here uh, on the council, um, what do you think are the hot topics going to be for the NCSG and you personally as well? Well, I'm interested in privacy and how to protect um, users' privacy. And therefore, I'm going to follow closely the work of the, um, P uh, on the policy development process on the next generation registration directory service, which is the, the updated uh, WUHIS. Okay. That was very interesting. Thank you so much, Stefania, for your time. And uh, I'll see you in Marrakesh. And uh, uh, good luck. Thank you.